So let's take a look at this, Cancer. The very first card is a three. So it does look like you're finding, trying to find some balance and stability. I know you've been challenged the last couple of months. Changes in the air for everybody over the last six months. So this is kind of a continuation, but it looks like you're trying to get a handle on on the bigger picture in life and gaining information, collecting information from um, different sources, um, getting in touch with your mind, body, and spirit and how to balance that in the everyday life. Um, but it does look like you're collecting information from um, tried and true, uh, could be mentors, could be religious figures, but trying to gain knowledge to get some clarity either on your next step or um, during the change that is embracing you right now. So what crosses you, this can be the lover's card. This is the two. This is also a balance card. So it does look like balance is coming into focus for you, Cancer. I know you've been a little topsy-turvy um, the last couple of months, not knowing what direction to go, but it does look like the path is becoming clearer and clearer to you. You are finding some balance um, either within a relationship or opening your heart to a relationship, but there are some changes. The death card is here, so it can possibly be the ending of a relationship or ending the relationship as as it was um, which can mean recommitting yourself um, to the current relationship it doesn't necessarily mean you're you're leaving that relationship but it does look like there are some changes taking place in relationship and for those of you who are not in relationship it looks like you're opening your heart and you're ready to um, try a connection with someone, try, try that um, intimacy again. Um, but it does look like some changes in your intimacy patterns. It does look like changes within your relationship space, whether it is positive moving forward or it is um, dissolving a current relationship that isn't working for you. The Hierophant is above here, so this is a five. So it does look like you're incorporating some of those higher level lessons that you have had over the past couple of months into the, into the current situation. Um, this also can be kind of renewing your faith in the journey um, and really looking at things honestly um, and finding the best resolution, kind of a, a more higher level than the base physical levels. Um, so for those of you it, uh, that do have uh, a spiritual or religious connection, it may be just um, meditating more, praying more, really looking at things honestly how they are um, and resolving them from that place of knowledge instead of taking a stab at things and taking a guess. It does look like you're collecting more information before you make any sweeping decisions, Cancer. The death card is here. It is on the side um, of the relationship space, also gaining knowledge space. So it looks like the information that you have gained has allowed you to make some changes and to end some situations or to end a relationship could be jobs, but something that has not been working for you for quite a while, Cancer, it does look like you're making those changes or you have begun making those changes with the death card here in the past. Um, it does look like the ball is already rolling, so this shouldn't be a surprise to you. New beginnings, the moon. Um, the moon can stand for the intrinsic side of us. Um, kind of the spiritual side, the inner side. So things from um, the inside coming to the outside. This could be your wildest dreams that you're taking a chance on, um, whether it's moving or trying um, to gain more knowledge, getting more education for the job of your dreams or really applying for the job of your dreams. But it does look like some of your things from the dreamscape or from the internal side of you is starting to come out and being manifested in the physical, in the, uh, physical plane, the earth plane. But it does look like um, there may be a little challenges bringing um, the dark into the light. I mean, the moon is the, the dark side, our intrinsic side, our, um, our deepest 
fears, our deepest dreams. So it does look like some of that is coming to the forefront and you're manifesting that. Um, the path is very clear. You're almost there, so don't give up, Cancer. Um, you've had quite a lot of challenges over the last year, but this does look like some good mojo coming to you. Uh, the Queen of Wands is here. This can stand for a woman. Um, I don't like to attach gender to it. It does feel female, um, but it's usually someone who is over 30, over 40, so or someone in a position of wisdom, of integrity, wands or motion um, and fire. So that can be an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius woman. Um, but this does feel like taking the high road on something that there is was a challenge and it, it's reared its ugly head again but this does feel like there you need to put some energy into a project uh, this does feel like a little more motion um, to that idea will propel you into the future that you are trying to maneuver um, it does feel like this Queen of Wands is has a helpful hand in things for you, that they will show you new ways to grow, um, either in business or in interpersonal. Um, it is along the line of the lovers, so this could be someone that you're asking advice of. Um, this can be the person that you are releasing as well, or changing it up, as it were. Um, so there is a fire fire person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that either is going to help you get clarity on this issue, um, but it does look like it's a more working relationship. That doesn't mean it's at work, but it looks like you work together well, or this new platform that you have created will help you communicate better well with this fire person. So what is at the bottom of this is the Page of Pentacles, and pages um, can be children. This does feel like messages, and Pentacles can mean money or jobs. This can be um, a challenge in your work, but it looks like you'll be getting a message about um, either expanding your awareness at, at your work, it could mean more responsibility, but it does look like more money is being attracted with this change as well. So don't be afraid to take on new and different responsibilities and learn different things. It will up your um, your worth a little bit in, in the eyes of, you know, the bosses. Uh, but it does feel like some money is coming to you. Some, some situation will be resolved where it... It may not mean extra money coming to you, but it may mean something that you've been pouring money into for a while um, that will stop. It looks like it will stop or slow down in July, Cancer. So um, it may mean may not be an additional way of making income, but it could mean that um, something that you've been kind of throwing money into will slow down or stop. So you will have those reserves um, that are available to you. This is also the money card. This um, is the five, I'm sorry, the six of pentacles. So you have a lot of motion going on. You've got um, money motion happening. You've got physical motion. There's a number of wands in here. So it looks like really taking those great ideas and putting them into the forefront. Um, it's, it looks like it's very fertile right now for those ideas to grow into a viable source of either alternative in income or an uh, additional income, but it's something to do with adding to your skill set, which will make you more marketable. So this is um, looks like giving out a little bit of money. I know that you'll get some return from this page of pentacles, but it does look like that the ending of the the endless money going out is coming to a close, that there is one or two more things that you have to resolve, and then you will actually be able to save some money or allocate it to where you wanted to allocate it instead of those emergency plumbing things or, or legal. I'm feeling there might be some legal things. Could be a divorce, could be uh, child support, something that yeah, back payments of some kind that caught up with you. Um, there does seem to be some frustration around it. Um, so 
you know, it, it may be divorce or child support or a, you know, some payment that you forgot about. It could be a cell phone bill or something that you forgot about that was taken to that next level. And you are resolving it. It does look like it will be resolved by July. So, um, you know, grin and bear it for a little bit more cancer and then your money will lighten up a little bit so you can allocate it where you want to. It does look like the judgment card is here. Um, and I'm feeling that it's right next to the lovers. You know, there is a love card here. So it does feel like um, putting down judgment for yourself and for others would really help propel you into um, a much more like judgment free or a, a, an easier way to resolve things. Um, it does look like um, assignment of blame, uh, pointing fingers, accusations were running a little rampant over the last couple of months. That is coming to a close, but it also looks like you took a step up into integrity and really stopped some behavior that wasn't benefited benefiting you or the others around you and that could be family it can be work but it looks like really um, being more neutral to other people's actions um, kind of resolving your problems without worrying about others as much that has been a theme for all all of the signs for the last couple of months. So that looks like you really took that to heart, Cancer, and you're really switching some things in your mindset that haven't worked for you over a long period of time. So you're kind of laying down the gauntlet, being a little bit more neutral um, with your opinions um, of yourself and others. I know Cancer, you can be extremely hard on yourself, um, the worst <laughs> and hardest critic. Um, of your actions is you. So it does look like you're putting down some of that judgment. It's just a little easier. The flow is a little easier and it really doesn't serve you um, to beat yourself up or to beat up others. It doesn't propel any wisdom. It doesn't propel any situation. It just kind of holds you back. And it looks like you had an aha moment and are really not so embraced in judgment of others and yourself. The lover's card is here. This can mean you're creating a new love or you're in a new love or even recommitting to a love that you've had for many, many years. But it does look like with all this shift that's happening with financial, emotional, all the challenges that have happening, it really won't sustain you to... Um, be in the old patterns of judgment and holding on too tight or, or um, the way things ran in the past is no longer how they're running in the current situation or in the future. So it does look like you've lightened up on yourself. You've opened your, your heart up to either a different love or a different way of loving your current partner. But love is definitely focused in here um, for the month of July. So what a great birthday present to kind of re-up your love game. Um, what is on the left of it is the Knight of Wands. And, you know, knights come in and they just just kind of blow things away and they stand up for what's right. Sometimes it's a little misguided. Um, this is also can be a fire person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And Knights, there is no um, gender associated with this. So could, this could be someone that's in your heart, a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that you've been helping um, or have a reciprocal help and, you know, um, accept and give, accept and give kind of uh, relationship with. I, I don't think it is the lover, but it looks like uh, you are getting either some good advice or that you're coming from a place of love and giving this advice to this Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. On the other side of this is a six. You have a couple of sixes, so it does look like you're in the middle of the process of things, kind of like on the other side of the challenges. Things are starting to roll a little bit bit better. Um, they're not quite resolved yet, but it does mean you're on the path and you're on the way, Cancer. Uh, this 
six of swords is kind of a bide your time you may not know what direction you're going um but it just means to float and you may have to trust someone else for a little bit to guide you in that journey and i know that's very hard for water signs to allow someone else to take control of the ship so i encourage you to just float a little bit let somebody else make the big decisions while you are kind of gathering your information a little bit more before you make either your final decision or make those changes. So it does look like cancer. It's kind of a mo uh, month to float. You're seeing some of the, you're seeing some of the positive things coming from um, taking the time and resolving those issues that were kind of in your face over the last couple of months. So it does look like it is more of a month to just float and allow yourself to just experience what comes to you before you make any grand decisions. But it does look some like some bigger changes are on the horizon and I'm feeling moving. You may be even moving in the next couple of months. Um, there is no card that dictates move, movement other than the, the moon. That can be um, following your wildest dreams type of thing. But um, this does feel like something has to do with your home and either improving it, cleaning it out, or for actually moving it <laughs> to another building. So I'm going to throw a couple of cards here for clarity. Okay, spouse is here. So for those of you in relationship, there may be a challenge with your partner, your lover, your spouse, <clears throat> or your you have come to an agreement either to let your relationship go with love and integrity or to reclaim it. So there is something happening with relationship space. All right. And karmic relationship. All right. It's all over the place. So you may be ending karma. You may be beginning karma. So yes, it's all about relationships right now. And it does look like you are in line with the people that you're supposed to be, whether it's a challenging relationship or whether it's an unconditional loving relationship. They are bringing your lessons to you to the forefront and you're actually working through some of your karma cancer. Um, so try to have patience try to put down the judgment and just allow the lesson to be shown and to really be uh, revealed to you